Aquarius, it's Anna here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, Aquarius. So, yeah, um, Take advantage of your black tourmaline and your amethyst bracelets, okay? Uh, they're phenomenal. You know, if you are in need of healing, um, if you want to have those healing vibes, I heard a friendship also, uh, or heal friendships here, you can get the amethyst bracelet, uh, black tourmaline for protection, also for healing too. Um, take advantage. Uh, they are on sale at the website level. You can uh, just click the link in the description box and you can um, be a part of that. Also, the first 10 people who uh, buy a bracelet, I will answer one free question via the tarot for you. So buy a bracelet, get a question answered also. All right. So take advantage if you if you feel moved to do so. All right. Let's see how the week is turning out for you, Aquarius. How is the week turning out? Ace of Cups, very nice. So some of you either have new love, you have new friendship. Um, you could even be getting a makeover or spirituality could be very important this week. Uh, listen to your intuition. This could also, some of you have been crying. These might be tears of joy though. Okay, this could be a new house. Your cup is, is running over. You have more than enough. You are abundant about something. The Eight of Cups. So it could even be that some of you are on a spiritual journey. And some of you, maybe you've had some type of awakening on your spiritual journey here. Um, the Eight of Cups also talks about some of you. This could even be like self-love this week. You know, walking away, not dealing with because you are in love with yourself more than other more than someone that you have given a lot to this could even be uh withdrawing because you are not getting what you want disadvantage or you're at a disadvantage or someone took advantage of you someone took your kindness for a weakness uh someone uh, allowed you to give all that you can give and they gave nothing back um this could even be you emotionally withdrawing again despondent just over it Going on a journey of un unknown length, not knowing where you're going to end up, but knowing that you need to leave. You could also be withdrawing from someone because there's been too many secrets or yeah, a lot of secrets, a lot of mystery, a lot of unknown. Um, you have to play this game. Uh, you also could feel like if someone just wants you for sex or they just want you for a good time or something of that nature. Uh, you could feel like you're on a cycle. You know, you're on a loop. You're in a circle with someone. If you're going in a circle, right, then you're going nowhere. You're ending up at the same place. So, um, something is not linear. It's um, cyclical. It's just like, it's no growth. This is you doing some self-analysis and you're walking away. This could even be in your career and finance. Let's see, what is the week bring for the Aquarius what is the the outcome here for the week the hanged man so you're in a position of waiting for enlightenment waiting for the opportunity to make a move letting things happen around you you know kind of being hands off looking at what you need to sacrifice some of you you're not willing to make the sacrifice to go after it whatever it is you want whether that's a new job new business new love whatever it's just like you won't let something go so that something else can you know replace it or come in for you also it's like you want this but you're not willing to give up that you want this big thing over here but you're not willing to you know willing to sacrifice maybe time sleep effort i don't know it's it, the hangman asks you know it asks you to ask yourself why haven't i had what i really wanted yeah it's like I don't know if you've given up agency, like you're just waiting for rescue, waiting for the cavalry. You've given up. Something got taken away from you. Also, you had to move or make a move. Um, something got taken away from you. Okay. Um, 
the air of being good natured. It's like you were in some cycle here with something or somebody and you were good to them or you showed up good or whatever your definition of good is. And it just seems as if you didn't get a return on the invested time, energy or effort or just love altogether. And it puts you in a place of this is what I get for being good natured. I get stuck. I get stagnancy. I get overthinking. I get um, being in need of help. Some of you are waiting for someone to rescue you. This is also maybe a pause in a relationship too. And someone's waiting for you to reach out. Are you waiting for them to reach out? There's, it's overthinking. It's negative thinking. It's clingy or clinginess. Or someone's being clingy to you. Or vice versa. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, Pisces coming up heavy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, what is the advice for Aquarius? What is the advice for Aquarius? Advice for Aquarius. The seven of pentacles. You got two eights and a seven. The seven and eight don't mesh well. They don't go together. It's like something is restricted or you need to restrict yourself. Or there is restriction for you and something or someone else. There is no movement. There's a period of no activity. And you need to let that happen. Um, because someone has to learn lesson here. Saturn is here. The uh, seven of pentacles. Um, you put in enough. You don't need to do anything else. If you do more, then you risk the, you know, you take the risk of someone not learning the lesson or you not learning the lesson or something not completing. The seven of pentacles. It says harvest is here. You're going to reap something here for some of you, but there's still a waiting period. A gestation period. Birth will happen. You're going to get what you want. Some of you are restricted by your birth. You might be um, bedridden. You can't get out of bed. Uh, you could be waiting for someone to take care of you. Or do something that they said they would do for you. Um, you could be waiting for money from a large corporation entity. The higher friend, higher friend is coming up. Um, some of you. There's restriction here. Or there's a slowdown in your money. There's a slowdown in your business or your relationship because you need to learn something. You need to learn rule, regimen, law, order, how to get, how to do something in a structure or have structure here. Some of you are going after maybe a new job here and you're waiting to hear back and, and you're all tied up in knots about this. Some of you are in a relationship where you made a lot of sacrifice a lot of um, letting go and you know maneuvering and just just making concession for just to stay in this relationship and it, it, it feels as if there's an energy of regret there's something you need to learn about yourself some of you need counseling therapy self-help books whatever it's just like the universe is saying no they put a stop on you so that you can Hopefully get the help, the guidance, the hierophant that you need here. It's like the universe is trying to bring two different, two very different people together. But it's not without learning individual lesson. There needs to be maturity that happens between the two of you or in this relationship. Somebody needs to learn how to govern their finances accordingly. You or another person. Someone needs to learn maturity altogether. Somebody has some karma to work out. These two eights coming up. It could be you, Aquarius, or someone that you're closely associated with has karma. It has nothing to do with you. But the universe is putting a hold, a stop, a slowdown on this relationship, on this friendship, on this whatever. Um, because you, you've got to deal with something and they've got to deal with something. And it's not that you do it collectively or together. It's a, it's separated with the hangman there. Let's see what these cards have to offer Aquarius. What do you want to tell Aquarius from this deck? I forget the name of this deck. I'm so sorry. Um, Virgo. It could be dealing with a Virgo. The alchemist. Okay. Right. Methodical. It's like the universe is trying to get you to learn the method it's like you want the end result you want the you know the product but you don't want to go through the process or you don't want to go through you know to get there so um some of you are being very discerning right now or you need to be 
being very healthy or someone needs to be ritualistic, the hierophant, um, religion or religious or you need to do something religiously or ritualistically, a perfectionist, witchy, discerning, uh, pure, re refined, accurate, uh, insightful. So it's just like, um, it's like the universe has put a break on something or pause on something because you need to get it right this time. Okay. Uh, I could be dealing with a Virgo. Let's see um, what does the uh, Kipper deck have to tell Aquarius. It says future energy, future energy. If you take the advice of the cards, if you do your own thing, then you know, whatever. Um, let's see future energy. Okay, you get to have, okay, so you get to come out of this restrictive um, energy, this poverty energy. You get a fast, quick change. The, the change card talks about quick, fast, hurry. So it talks about either like quickly moving, a physical move, the proverbial move away from drama or just a stuck place. Um, but you get a fast change. The nine is the God number. So it's like God comes in and offers quick, fast, uh, hurried change here because some negative cycle, the poverty card, uh, uh, you know, um, equating to a 10, which then equates to a one, it's over, you know, it's done. The uh, the completion of a thing, you don't have to be in that energy anymore. If you just um, listen to the cards, get guidance, do something methodical or ritualistically, then you'll come into an energy of having quick, fast change. Can you clarify change for the Aquarius? Okay, wow, official person. So you'll come into a place of um, having some official uh, rank in life um you'll be more stable this is like emperor energy um it's like from some from nothing to something here so it's like you'll go from nothing to something from zero to a hundred really quickly be, right because um you took a chance you you get out of some impoverished bad health type of situation maybe sex only type of benefits uh, relationship and you go into having maybe an official person in your life uh, someone who comes in into your life in a responsible capacity ready to take on the duty of husband or wife um, you you come out of it's it, it's funny these two cards equate to four so you come out of um, maybe a negative cycle that was just going downhill okay um, you come into being official again from nothing to something right definitely to something great fortune which equates to an eight here um some relationship some situation may change yeah because there could be reunion here or a, a do-over a start over um someone could um this could even be a test too for some of you because it looks like there's somebody new coming in yeah somebody new. Um, but anyhow, um, it, it just seems as if Aquarius, the universe says, take a break, take a step back, um, evaluate, you know, ask yourself why you haven't really had what it is you really want. Maybe because you're allowing for what you don't want in your life. You're allowing to, for, make, you know, um, making all these different uh, concessions for, you know, you can't do that. And then you're trying to make something out of nothing. But it says if you just trust you know, the Godhead, whatever you believe that to be, they, uh, you know, spirit divine will bring, you know, what it is you're looking for. Great fortune rests with you if you be, do something methodical, um, ritualistic, and religiously. And if you get under some tutelage or get under some type of mentorship, mentorship could definitely be dealing with a Virgo. We got the Hermit card coming out. You know, this is just time spent in, you know, in peace and meditation and self-discovery here and learning about yourself, becoming a guru of self first, withdrawing from the world and really taking stock of you, maybe sitting with God divine. And then we have um, the three of cups. You, yeah, It's like you're going to get good news. It's like you, you get to come out of the hermit type of position and then you move into, you know, triumph, su success, uh, victory, the initial stages of creation, um, 
moving into something that you should be a part of. What is the Three of Cups? You may even get to reconcile with someone. You gotta let somebody go through. They gotta let you go through um, the Queen of Wands. I don't know. It's like you're gonna start attracting what it is you really want in your life. Maybe if this is reconciliation. What is this for Aquarius? What is this for Aquarius? The Five of Wands. So it's just like um, you you putting out some magic there. Yeah. You need something needs to be over though. Something needs to be over. Yeah, something definitely. An Ace of Swords coming up. Conflict before resolution. The Two of Swords. Okay, so for some of you, a relationship needs to be over. Or it is over. It's like you just keep trying. Competing goals. You and this person don't even want the same thing. But it's like you just keep trying. There's an energy of immaturity, childish behavior. If you're trying to make a love affair more than what it is. But this is what someone else is doing. You know that a decision needs to be made. Some of you aren't talking to a particular person and it's making you extremely... You know, irresistible to this person, desirable. They can't let you go for whatever reason. They just can't let it go. But they know, and you know that it needs to be done or it's done, it's over. You you have seen what they have to offer. It's not great. It's disappointing at best. It is. It could even be cursed. The Ten of Swords can sometimes talk about curses. Something needs to be over though. Something needs to be over. Um, let's see. The Knight of Swords keeps wanting to show up in this deck. It's like somebody feels that you're leaving and they want to come back and try to persuade you to stay. It's like they know they need to do something. I, I feel that my person, my Aquarius is leaving so I need to do something big to draw them back in, to pull them in, to reel it back in. Someone could, yeah, they want to waste your time even more the six of wands they see you going on your merry way maybe even taking the high road and it's it's not what they want for you or for themselves they want you to come you know dance with the devil here come play come out and play or at least they want to convince you that change has happened yeah they want to salvage a relationship here with the temperance card um they want to make it work. They want to, you know, give you compromise or they want to compromise here. It's just that somebody, they see that you're getting your life together. The temperance card talks about getting your life together. Yeah, maybe you cut something off or out. Um, they were okay with it. It brought conflict and then they, I don't know. You cut something off. And someone's trying very hard to get your, you said something to someone that was conflicting to what you normally do or what you normally say and now you could have cut them off completely and now they're saying or they're doing rather they're trying to come in destructive a destructive uh energy a destructive force like a wrecking ball trying to get your attention and maintain it also you want to hold you So Aquarius, something needs to be over. Yeah, it's like seven uh, mastery and trickery, magic. You know, it's like they want to say things, they want to do things that causes for conflict, trickery. You know, look over here, don't look over there. Yeah, I said I love you, but I'm not gonna call you for the next week. You know, it's it's trickery, it's deceptive, it's ma manipulation, it's mind games. This is someone who will tell you that they want to be with you. They want to run away with you. But all in all, the Seven of Swords, this is a lone wolf. This is somebody who really wants to go it alone. You see, he comes to take and he's not giving anything. You know. Uh, yeah, it, it's just like something needs to be over. O-V-E-R. Tony Braxton has a song. 
It's called O B E R. Over. Listen to that song. It's just over. You know, um, this has been a cycle, a tough one. You don't even trust this person. They don't trust you. You don't trust them. Um, it's a lot of holding back and it, it, because it comes from a place of manipulation, games. But someone was trying to control the other person with sex and, you know, and um, maybe trickery, sex, dating, going out, thinking that it was much more than what it was, maybe even gifts. Somebody could be into exotic dancers or performers of some sort or online. Yep. You know, like somebody does like OnlyFans or online type of, you know, sexual work. They do something, you know, in the cover of or at night. Someone, uh, yeah, could pay for, you know, sexual activity also. All these damn apes. This is, com this is a complete... It's, it's so cyclical. It's like you engage with this person and you end up right back at the same place. Heartbroken, upset, frustrated, disappointed. And the cards are saying, this time around, for some of you, if you want to deal with a particular person, you're going to have to deal with them hands off with the, uh, ha with the hangman coming out. You know, you're going to have to deal with them where you're not so vested because some of you were very invested in this relationship therefore you just kept going that's what the cards are saying if you want this cycle to end you're going to have to deal with them you know you can't have all this intimacy and you know, be so close to this. And if you can't deal with them without, you know, being vulnerable, then you don't need to deal with them at all right, right now because this person is going through some karma. Some heavy karma. Uh, because of the cycles that they've created, they've been involved, involved in in their life. It could be you, it could be the other person. It's just like something, everything is kind of like spiraling right now you know for this person and it could be out of control things could be going well for you you have the death card you need to let something transform um an uh, ending it could even be you know indicate a temporary ending then like getting back together six of swords you need to rationalize moving on from something rationalize the ending of the relationship the Knight of Cups, even if this person comes back, you know, with, you know, and they try to persuade you to fall in love with them. It's all a game. This is a game for somebody. Yeah. Trickery game. You know, it's um, competition. It's uh, friskiness. Arri arousal. Uh, arousal. I can never say. Arousal. Whatever. Somebody's getting aroused by you. <laughs> um yeah this is so some this is all manipulation here for some of you this is like somebody definitely just playing a whole bunch of mind games to keep you stuck to keep you stuck on them somebody understand that you're a good catch you know and you might get taken or swooped up by something else or someone else or you might just actually be over it but as long as I can keep you talking, if I can keep you arguing, if I can keep you engaged, then I have you, says this particular person. It's like somebody, the universe says, go from this impoverished state where you were wondering where you stood with a particular person. Maybe some friends, own, friends with benefits type of relationship. Go from that, right, to like this, some fast change of having an official person or becoming official in your life and having great fortune it's like something is not serving you well you need to come out of it that's what the cards are saying 
you got like a lot of restriction here in the card so i hope that this reading resonated for you keep in mind this person's somebody's going to show back up with a gift yeah this person this main male maybe a relationship that really never turned into like boyfriend and girlfriend but you guys were acting like you were or you thought that you were there's still secrets that this person refuses to tell you yeah i'm mean, just you know an outright liar uh, they can all of a sudden just show back up just wanting another chance with you and they're going to show back up with something small small offer wanting you to take a ride with them either physically or just proverbial like they just take you on a ride you know playing mental games just to keep you stuck Aquarius keep that in mind it's like you have greatness on the other side of this relationship and you can't wait you know for somebody to get it or, or, or um, yeah you can't wait for them to get it some of you have done a lot of work a lot of energy work it says keep doing it because it's, it's working for you you are attracting the Queen of Wands what it is you say you really want in your life but the universe is saying well damn it we want to bring it to you but you won't let this other stuff go you won't sacrifice it you won't let it go so you got to do some homework maybe in terms of the hierophant of how to let something go yeah how to let it go because I well um yeah you guys are like out of order or you want to do something out of order and the universe is like no we're going to be methodical and structured about this you need to get your shit together the other person needs to get their shit together and it's not together you're going to do this separately but you guys keep wanting to be out of order and come together when we're not doing that right now we're we're working on you guys individually you just keep messing up each other's lesson for some of you. And then for some of you, you just got somebody who is not willing to learn a lesson. They don't want to change. They're okay being on, you know, the side of, you know, um, negativity. And then we have the hermit come out. We sometimes can even indicate, you know, negative karma. Somebody's got to work it off, either you or the other person. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number number below. You can also um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, come learn the Tarot with me. Classes are linked below. Get your bracelets, express, especially... Woo, this is Mercury retrograde. Um... If you want, if you need protection, if you want healing, if you just want to move on, um, get your bracelets, okay? Uh, also, what else? What else do we have? Um, join the uh, channel. If you join the channel, um, you get access to all of the extendeds. I'm doing more extendeds. Um, you also get to ask a question every month that you are a member of the channel. You get to ask a question of the tarot cards. And I will answer, okay? Well, I'll help you figure out the answer via the tarot cards, all right? So this is what I have for you. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care. Oh. Hi, guys. I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the Join button. And you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99. Uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, is here for you. Thank you. Take care.